I want to speak on projects. This is a message that God put in me when I was called and asked to come and minister. And we'll speak on projects in two ways. Number one, we look at ourselves as the project of God. Hallelujah. Do you know we are the project of God? I will show you how we are. Number two, we'll also be looking at our own projects. Because I believe we all have a project for this year or for our future. True or false? Uh, I have members of my family that I would want to introduce. Today we agreed that I introduce them from behind. Kindly, if you belong to my family, if you are my blood. <laughs> okay, I know you are blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are there. Uh, that's Naomi, my third born. Say hi. That's Devi, our last born. Say hi. <laughs> they are saying in the heart. Okay. Oh, wonderful. I, I like obeying. When they were little children, I would do what I want. But now we have to agree. So if they say that you want to greet the church from the, in front, I obey. If they say, just keep quiet about us. I do what? <laughs> I obey. Projects. We'll talk about God's pro project first. Ourselves as God's project. We'll also talk about our own projects, like I've said. Amen. Somebody is asking me, how do you know our projects? How do you know my project? <laughs> when I stand here, I don't represent myself. I represent the one who sent me. Not Bishop. The one who? So how can you ask whether I know your project? I know. I may not know in detail, but I know some, somehow I know. Hmm. Amen. I was once a youth pastor in our church in Nyeri. And I called one girl that had been praying for her husband. For some years she had been praying for her, for her husband. And because I used to pray, there were not as many youth as we have here. So I would sometimes pray for them by name. Now at least two. Now I'm there. So I called her to my office and told her that I want to tell you something. She had been brought up, the two of them had been brought up by their mother. The parents had separated or divorced, I don't know. And as you know, as they were growing up those years, things were difficult. Leave alone this time you are talking of high taxes. There were days things were more difficult than today. And so she had an issue with her father. So the Spirit of God asked me to tell her to, to make peace with her father. And it was, the father was not living in the city. I didn't even know the father. I only knew the mother, who was not a member of our church. So when I told her that, she refused at first. She said, no, I can't forgive him. I told her, you have to do it. Forgive your father and make peace with him. In fact, look for him. You are the first one. Show your sister. And she went. Later on, she brought herself to my office. And she asked me to pray for her. She wants to start what I told her to do. And to cut the whole story short, they say, Mia. Say somebody. <laughs> All the way from Gong or Kajiado, those sides, <laughs> Amasai, <laughs> came to Nyeri on a transfer. Hallelujah. And the same here said something good to her. Hallelujah. And the same next year, she got married. And she said, the one that is going to join my marriage is Pastor Deuri. <laughs> that time I had come to Nairobi. Unfortunately, I was not ordained, so I couldn't. But I preached in her wedding. Her pastor ordained, uh, joined her, but I preached in that wedding. And I was so happy. Praise the Lord. Uh, that was an appetizer. Was it an appetizer or what was it? Because I have an appetizer. When you go to the U.S., and the U.S. is good, you first of all, you are given an appetizer. Even here, go to Safari Park, you get an appetizer, the main course, and then, uh, what is the other one? The what? Oh, dessert, yeah, yeah. You know, I come from the village. You cannot remove a man from the village. You can, remove the, you can remove a man from the village, but not the village from the man. Eh? So, 
Uh, that was not my appetizer. My appetizer is Proverbs 3.33. The Bible says, hmm? oh, yeah, yeah, good. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the just. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the just. I don't need to explain that. Just be a good man or a good woman, okay? And the blessings of the Lord will, will follow you. Just be a bad man. And the curse of the Lord shall be, let me not finish that. But when you are a bad man, when you are a bad woman, bad things will also happen to you anyway. Number two, on my appetizer, is Jeremiah 48 verse 10. Bible says that cursed is he who is he who does the work of the Lord with slackness. Cursed is he who does the work of the Lord with slackness. King James Version says, cursed is he who does the work of the Lord deceitfully. Another version says, which is that other version? It's the same King James. Cursed is he who keeps back his sword from blood. I mean, when the Lord is calling you to serve him, there's a particular um, version that says, Kaz is a man who serves the Lord with the feeble hearts. Yani, unafanya kama hutaki kufa? By the way, let me ask you, you also employ us somewhere, somehow. Hata kama ni maid, ama houseboy, whatever. Do you want somebody who just works with the feeble hearts? Now, that's the same case with our God. He says that he will bless those who, who serves him with passion, with joy. The same kind with you. You will promote that person. True or false? Unless you are an unjust man or an unjust woman. Now, is that good appetizer? Now, let's go to project. I will talk on tools that God uses to complete us as his projects. Ephesians chapter 2, chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible says, for we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. For we are God's workmanship. That's what the Bible is telling us. We do not belong to ourselves. Neither do we belong to Bishop. Me hata spendi wale watu wanasema atikanisa ya Bishop Kimani. Spendi. Kuna kanisa ya Bishop Kimani? Nyambi hata wewe. Na mbona unasemanga hivyo ati mimi naendaga kanisa ya Bishop Kimani. <laughs> eh, Acts 17:28. For in him we live and move and have our being. A certain also of our own poets have said, for we are his offspring. Let's just concentrate on the first part. For we for in him we live and move, and have our being in him. I mean, we belong to God. You belong to God. Amen? You belong to who? We are his projects, his workmanship. Now, there are tools that he uses to complete us, to perfect us, because we cannot go to heaven the way we are. Kama hujajua. There will be three surprises in heaven, according to Bishop Tumising, not me. He once told us, the first surprise is when you meet the people that you didn't expect to find in heaven, you meet them in heaven. That will be the first surprise. You didn't expect them. The second surprise is when you miss the people that you thought were meant for heaven. You miss them in heaven. The people you miss, I pray that you not miss me. <laughs> And the third surprise in heaven is to find yourself there. <laughs> and you know yourself. <laughs> now, I am saying we cannot go to heaven the way we... God has to perfect us, to complete us. When I was growing up, I don't know nowadays, but there are two communities in Kenya that were very good in doing some artwork. The Kisses and the Kambas. 
Mishongo, mnajua eh? That thing that they were producing is not in the tree or in the stone. It was in there in their mind. You wewe ukijaribu hata upewe hizo visu. Hautatoa, hautamtoa Jomo Kenyatta. Wengine wenu hamjui Jomo Kenyatta. <laughs> Mnajua nani? Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay, bas. Sawa. Hautamtoa. Because it is in there. Now we are in the mind of God and there are tools he uses to complete us. And the tool number one is the word of God for those who are writing down. And I always say, if it is not on the paper, it is a vapor. Can I say it again? If it is not on the paper, it is? It is a vapor. It will evaporate. Utakubuka tu maneno ya US. Hati halikuwa siyato, halikuwa wapi. Uliniona kwa Facebook, santi kwa kuniona kwa Facebook. Lakini yosio muhimu. Hile muhimu ni akwenda wapi? By the way, let me tell you. US and Kenya are just like the same. Hakuna. Hiyo wengine wenu mnapigana kwenda we nao kule wanapigana kurudi. I tell you the truth. I'm not lying. <laughs> yani the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Make this your America. Kama unataka kwenda mimi sija kukataza. Sawa? Kama maono yako kabisa ni kwenda. Fanya nini? Enda. Kile nilipata kizuri sana kule ni kazi. I am passionate about our youth when they miss work. I pray for them a lot. So I would go to cities and meet them. We are employing, we are employing, we are employing. And I felt like going to Biden. Si upatie watu wetu visa. Wakuje wafanye hizi kazi. Nyi mnahitaji labor, si tunahitaji kazi na mtupei hizi mavisa. Lakini sasa nitampata wapi Biden? Jamani. Leave her on the Biden. Even the city that I was in, I couldn't get the mayor or the governor. Hallelujah. Now what was my point? It is we all the word of God is the first tool. All right? Tool number 1 is the word. And the word of God is God. Okay? Don't take the word like just the word. It's not just a word. It is the word. The word of God is And in the beginning there was And the word was And the word was with That's the word of God is God. By the way, let me tell you. He has exalted his word above his name. Wakati wale waliandika Biblia walikuwa wanaenda kuandika jina Jehova ama Mungu. Hawangeendelea, wanaacha wanaenda kuoga mikono. Ndio wakuja waandike jina nini? Yawe ama Jehova ama Mungu. That was the name of God. Sasa Sasa nitawelezaje muelewe? Ukienda state house hawamuiti Ruto, Ruto. Wewe ndiye unamuita Ruto. Hata wamuiti William. Sijui vile wanamuita sijakuwa huko. <laughs> Lakini ninajua. Labda wanamuita mzee. Na labda ni wakubwa kushida ye. Ni wazee kuliko ye. Lakini wanamuita nini? Kama hamuiti mzee wanamuita daktari. Yaani jina iliyo na heshima. I mean that is just a man. I'm telling you about God. God has exalted his word above his name so the word of god is achilia neno la mungu likufanyie kazi jameni it is all powerful most of the things we need are in the word of god all of the things we need are in the word of god. read the word of god nimefika pahali ninachoka kidogo kusoma sasa katika simu yangu nimeweka ile ya kusikiza <laughs> unaelewa haleluya sasa mimi nasikiza neno Ninasomewa tu Bible because I want to saturate my day with at least three to five chapters every morning because I want the word I want to be full of the word of God because when I'm full of the word of God I'm full of God Did you hear that Can I go to the second point It is called the Holy Spirit or he is called the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is God He hears and talks not just in prayer but all the time Unaelewa God and the Holy Spirit talks by the way. He talks. But he only talks when you listen to him. He's talking all the time, not just when the preacher is speaking. Even when you are alone in the garden or in your kitchen, the spirit of God is Sasa kazi ni yako kufanya nini? Kusikiza na ujue na kuongoza namna gani. Kwa sababu mambo mengi umepata mashalaji na mashida na nini? Ni kwa sababu haukumsikiza, hukujua ni Mungu anaongea. Sometimes you think you are thinking, it is your mind. Well, it is the Holy Spirit. 
right? Talk to the Holy Spirit, you people. You don't have to be a pastor or a choir member or an usher. Apana, you are a child of God. Do you know God loves you the, the same way he, he loves me? I, I got saved over 30 years ago. The person who got saved last week when I was not here. Mimi na yeye, tuko? Sama sawa sawa. Ama sababa. Hakuna mungu anapenda atikushida mwingine. Mungu siwa mapedeleo. Kwa sababu hata mimi, I'm a father of five. Hakuna mwenye anapenda kushida wengine. Hakuna. Unaelewa? Wazazi. Wazazi mna nyamazia na nyinyi. Nyinyi diyo naongea na nyinyi. I know where I'm coming from. Nuhacha mapendeleo. Nuhambia ukweli. Wale, wale unapenda ati kwa sababu wako number one. Kule chini, class one, class two, class three. Ati wawo ndiyo watakusaidia uzeeni. Wakati mwingine unakuta bure kabisa. Yule atakusaidia uzeeni ni yule abaya alikuwa sukumu. <laughs> The reason is not to the sift. Munizikia. Nor what to the man of strength. But time and chance happens to all. All men. Yule ambayo hailewe yu masomo. Hata kuja kuwelewa mambo mengine utashangaa. Nikona moja ambayo wangu haku wanaelewa masomo sana. Wachani ni wambi siku hizi ni mushauri wangu. Particularly like now, the mother is not around. If I want to do something, I want to hear what she will say about it. Lakini masomo. Yeye na masomo. She's married in Kibenyaga. So, last week, I took her, we went home to see my mother. There's something she told me. I think she, she was trying to justify her lack. <laughs> and she told me, Daddy, can I tell you something? I said, yes. Afadhali mtu aanguke mtihani wa, ma, wa shule, lakini ya apite mtihani wa maisha. <laughs> Nika nyamaas. <laughs> Nika sema dio, hapa umeongea. <laughs> lakini nikaongeza nikamwambia lakini mimi ningesema, afadhali mtu apite mtihani wa shule, <laughs> na apite mtihani wa, wa maisha. But she talked the truth. Hallelujah. So wazazi, I'm still on you. Wacha mapendeleo. Wacha nini? Penda. By the way, mapendeleo ni baya sana. Mapendeleo yudu inafanya hii vita yiko Hamas hapa. Unajua Abraham alikuwa na mapendeleo? Alipenda Isaac. Akafukuza nani? Ishmael. Ishmael mpaka sahi haja tusamehea. Enda hea potu wenye mwamjatebea. Tuna. Paka siku nyingine nine wauliza. Paka mshipi nitoe. <laughs> yani tunafanyo tutoe kila. Kwa sababu ya nini? wanaogopa hawa jamaa wa Ismaili. Juu baba yetu alifanya nini? Mapendeleo. Hawa ISIS mnasikia, alisha babu hapa. Wengine South Africa wanaitwa nini? Boko Haram. Wote ni jamii hiyo ya Ismaili. Hawajatusamehea. Kwa sababu baba yetu alifanya nini? Mapendeleo. Haleluya. Wewe ukifanya mapendeleo, unajua utazeeka na kuna wakati hautakuwako, utawaacha na shida hawa watoto wako. Yule ambayo ulikuwa unapendelea. Munaona Joseph. Shida ya Joseph ni kwa sababu ya mapendeleo. Hange pitia hiyo mashimo, nini, kuuzwa wapi, wapi. Ni mapendeleo. Alishonewa suti mzuri. Munaelewa watu wa mungu. Lakini wengine wakufanya nini? Hawaku, hawaku pendelewa, hea alipendelewa. Hata kwenu shida zingine mkonazo kwa, ya umefikiria ni mashaba na nini. Ni mapendeleo yalifanywa na babako ama aguka wako ama huwewe. Niendele? Bado muna nipenda? Wasazi kwanza muna nipenda nyinyi. Na nyinyi watoto wetu muna nipenda? Sinasema ukweli? Eh, mimi huongea ukweli tu. <laughs> Aya, tuendele. Lakini kabla nitoke hapo, tune to heaven FM if you want to hear the Holy Spirit. Tune to Na huu jamandi ya lini introduzia hiyo, hiyo ni mewambia ya, na hito wawaya, ya, ya kusikiza baibu. So, is a man of wisdom. Nafikiri hawa ni wale walikuwa wakusukumwa. <laughs> Alipofika nini mamba ya kabadili. <laughs> Tune to what? 
Heaven? FM. Because Kameme FM, Ama Musie is still talking even now. Are you hearing? Apana hawiski? Hasabu hujati? Hujatiun? Even inoro? Na ingine naitwa muga. Zote zinayonge? Lakini hatuski? Kwa nini? We have not tuned. Now, you only hear heaven or the Holy Spirit when you have tuned to heaven. Na by the way, ukizoea, ukizoea kusikizanga mungu utamzoea. Ebu niseme hivi, nyinyi ni mwahubiri hapa mara nyingi, sinio? Kama nime karibishwa na pastor wangeshi hapa, kama mumefunga macho, na wambie mfunge macho. Mungejua ama mungejua ni mimi? Mungefikiri ni pastor Beatrice? Ama pastor Gedai? Si mungejua? Sana sana wale ambao wananifahamu, sinio? Kwa sababu tumezoea, tumezoeana. Sasa na wewe utasiki, utazoeana na mungu, ukisikiza sana na ukisoma neno lake mungu. Ah, hiyo point ni tatoka. Tuende ya tatu. Tools that God uses to, to make us to who he wants us to be. Inaitwa watu or people. People are created in the image and likeness of God. Look at your neighbor. Mwangalie tu sasa nakupea ruhusa. Unalafu umuambi, I see God in you. Angalia hata uwe mwingine. At one time I was a Catholic. I, I studied in a Catholic school. Kuna, kuna salamu tulikuwa tunafanya. Kila mkutano ikiisha, tunazista shiadhayo. Gaithi shiadhayo. Wakatuliki mkwa hapi? Watu wangu? <laughs> Santini Alice. Si muna kubuka shiadhayo? Hizo ni kumanisha kama kuna kakitu tulikuwa tumekwazana. Tumari? Tumarize. Sasa na mimi nikiwambia unge na mwingine na mwingine. Kama kuna, kwa sababu kuna tufitu jameni. Sifikiri ya tikuwa ni nyue. We. Mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ukiokoka ni biguni direct. Kuja kujua kuna milima na mabode, lakini sio ile ya Ben Gedhai. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People, sema people. People are important. Do not adorate people. In Greek we say adunioido. Hallelujah. That means all people are important. There are no unimportant people. There are no unimportant people. Hakuna mtu siwa muhimu. Usifikiri? Ebu ni wabie, kitu kigine muna fikiria. Rongere. You think because we sit in this front row here, that we are more important than you. My friend, you are, you are mistaken. We are not. We are all important. Ni vila tuwezi toshia hapa. Mnaelewa? I once went to the to a church nitaka tu kuhubiri kuhubiriwa nibarikiwe nitaka kukaa nyuma lakini wakanitoa wakanileta hapo sasa nilikuwa nashangaa kwa nini hawataki nikae to za wachache ni gedhongori bwana siwe i will tell you an illustration ndio nitoke kwa hiyo point in time ina nikibiza sana and you know here we have discipline <laughs> now we i once employed a woman not a girl you know we are used to employing house girls she was a housewoman because she was married, I think, with four kids. There were problems in her marriage. She came from these sides of Kamuru, eastern, eastern province. So I don't know how she landed in our hearts, me and my wife, or my wife and I, for those who are English guys. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, we just employed her. We didn't even need a house girl, but we wanted to help her to get something to feed her children and also to do her counseling, pastoral, as you know, pastor's heart. Ni hile ni wasomea kwa appetizer, ni just. Evangelists like Moses accuse us of, of condoning sin in the church. Kusa hata tukijua mtu wana dhabi bado, hatupigi nje, tunapiga wapi? Tunapiga nga, musikiri hatupigi. Particularly me, I'm very stern, by the way, if you didn't know. You think I'm just light-hearted? No. I ask the people that I lead in the hospitality department, wherever. Tunagonga. But we beat inside. Now, I was telling you about that lady. Sita wambia jina yake. We had just settled in Kiambu. And those days, Kiambu was Kiambu. Watch us squeeze. Kiambu, in Kikuyu, meant Kiambu. 
bu ni mayowe so kea mwangi ni kwa mwangi so kea bu mnaelewa actually when my mother heard that i am settling in kea bu she got so much worried so much worried but there was nothing much now tulikutwa i'm trying to cut cut short tulikutwa usiku saa nane na wenye wali tukuta walikuwa wamefanya survey walikuja waka bedroom yetu hapo ndio wa, walikaa sana mambo yakaanza kufanyika the girl the woman not the girl akasikia akiwa kwa bedroom yake which was next to the children's you know what she did alichukua simu yake i don't know how she had come to have kwa sababu ya hizo challenge na shida alikuwa amepata simu ya namba ya simu ya pastor mwingine ambayo ni naiba wetu so aliingia mvunguni chini ya kitanda alafu akapigia huyo naiba wetu pastor na he pastor aliposikia what is happening in our home we were just about two weeks old there na he pastor naiba wake alikuwa polisi ambaye alikuwa na kakitu so naye akampigia within 5 to 10 minutes they were there hata hatukuwa tumefungulishwa walikuwa wanatuambia fungueni 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 hatukuwa tumefungulishwa so we didn't know how the miracle had happened until now when they came walikuja na gari sana kwanza wakakosea kwetu wakapita kidogo kisha wakarudi sasa hawa wezi waliposikia hiyo wakajua ni kumekuja wakataroka although i lost my very beautiful watch <laughs> nilikuwa najaribu kuwarushia <laughs> ndio wasiniambie nifungue sasa nilikuwa nimewarushia pesa na na, na simu saa yangu na imisi sana <laughs> <laughs> Sasa uh, my point is I don't know she had gotten her now. did you see the, do you see how the miracle came Do you know I had not employed her because I needed her it's because I wanted to help her but little did I know she would be my help otherwise mimi singeweza kupiga masimu There are no unimportant people Hata yule ambao unafikiria si muhimu yeye ni muhimu ni muhimu Amen. Wana ume jameni. Chani achane na nyinyi kwa sasa. <laughs> Number four. Tools God uses. Circumstances and the situations. Circumstances and the situations. Oh, thank you Naomi. <laughs> Pigeni Naomi makofi. Uh, now things happen and you realize that it is God talking to you both good things and and bad things amen maybe there is a relationship that has broken you were once engaged and that relationship broke ndaika kuweka chini sana mpaka sasa hizo ukiona mtu kwa troza wacha ile troza ya wadada hii troza yetu unasikianga roho yako Do you know what happens? Moses, kuna watu wanatuona ugawa ndo alumene nyamo. Labda hiyo hiyo relationship hiyo inatufanya utuchukie hiyo. Vile ilianguka ndio uko hai. Labda igeendelea uolewe. Tungekuwa tumekuzi ama ungekuwa hauna mikono kama muende. Mnakumbuka muende? A few years back. Amen. Situations happen. There's a friend of mine because I don't have much time to talk about this point. Yeye alikuwa mshirika kwa kanisa letu bado ya Nyeri. A leader anasha actually. And then between Nyeri and Moiga wale wametembea pande hiyo. Unajua nini mingi sana hivi? Ni naitwa nini? Whatever. Ni endos. Okay, sawa sawa. It's the slopes of Mount Kenya. <laughs> Now wakafanya accident kubwa sana. Paka watu wengine wakakufa. Wengine wakajeruhia. Yeye alitoka unscathed. Is it unscathed or unscathed? unscathed oh good <laughs> unscathed is called maina do you know after that alipojiona na akaenda kupimwa hospitali ikasemekana hana pahali popote na aliona watu wakikufa wengine wakikuwa si marehemu viwete alikuja church akatuambia i want to be a pastor na tukamuombea na tukamtuma pahali kunaitwa kiawara kama umeenda nyahurudu from nyeri kuna pahali kuna vitu gumigi umeziona na zinauzwa bei rahisi naitwa kiawara sasa hapo the head ya pastor wa hapo sasa he is the angel now there 
since those days, 20 years, circumstances happened and threw him into the ministry. Hallelujah. When I was few, hata wewe, one of the reasons you are enjoying life is because you refute kazi. Lakini siku hizo ningekwambia hivyo, ungeona huu mchungaji hasikizi Mungu. But you did well, you are doing well, maybe you are a farmer, you are a good business person, you are taking good care of your children, things that you could not do when you are still working. Circumstances and and the situations. Amen. Now, can you allow me in the next 11 minutes to go to our own projects? And I will be asking a question or answering this question. Why do men and women fail to complete projects? Of course, God is still completing his project, which is us. But why do we ourselves fail to complete projects? Do you want to know? So write down things that make men and women fail to complete projects. Number one is shortage of money. Shortage of money. I want to say something that God put in me as I was preparing this message. This year must be different. Amen? 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 Start speaking to your money because your money is there. Mungu alipo kuleta kwa uli mwengu kuna pesa yako aliweka pahali. Sasa? Hallelujah. We, should not, we shall not fail to complete projects because of shortage of money. We shall no longer live in lack. Amen? Hallelujah. Mudani yamini ama hamuni yamini? You know, sometimes I feel like believing for you. Ume, ume sota sana mpaka hata ni kiongea husiki kama ni mtuwa mungu wanaongea. Hata si mtuwa mungu wanaongea, ni mungu wanaongea. Your time has come. Yeah. Things have to change in 2024. Yeah. I know how to be in luck. I know how poor, how bad it is. Mtu hata haeshi mimi. Unaongea point, watu wana kuwabia hibu nyamaza tusikia vile mwose sataseme. Na wewe ndi uko na hekima. Hata <laughs> umeshida mwose kwa umuli. Lakini kwa vile wana kuangalia. <laughs> nimekataa katika jina. Siwezi ubiria watu wa mesota. Apana nimekataa katika jina la yesu. Kuna siku moja nilikuwa na madeni. Sema madeni. Unajua kuna kusota na kuna madeni. Nilikuwa na madeni. Niki piduka hivi madeni. Hivi madeni. Ladrod madeni. Paka siku moja haka niliza. Kaiga yeta kwa higuwa nga we. Tono duladea. <laughs> Aki kwe besha udeni nyumba yako. <laughs> Nilikuja hapa kuambewa, tulikuwa kule chini. Kakuta pasta kauda. Nika mshika mkono, nika muambia mtuwa mungu, niombe. I'm working hard, but pesa inanihepa. Alipokuwa na, na ukikuja kuambewa unanyamaza, siyo we unaombe. Wee ndi unaomba ama unaombewa. Hiyo <laughs> inaitwa hole anger. <laughs> Kwa sababu nimeona wengine na kuja kuambewa hapa na muna, muna, munaomba. Sasa, si uombe ukua huko, ukikuja kwangu. <laughs> Ama basi usikuje. So, mimi nikasiki. Nikasiki za kiniombea. Badala ya kumusikia ye, nilisikia mungu. Si mkwambia najua kutune heaven. Nikasikia mungu wakiniambia, uite pesa yako. Nikukua ma imekua ma lakini isha aliziu. Call your money from the north. From the south from the east and from the west. I did exactly that. I called for, I didn't pray to God. I had heard that God had released my, you remember the Prince of Persia? Yeah. So I talked to my man in Ikaita. Let me tell you. Kwanzia pare mambo ya lianza kubadilika. Watu nilikuwa nimefanyia kazi wa mekoza kulilipa wakanza kunitafuta. Watu wenye nilikuwa nimekopesha pesa wakakataa nayo. Hata nika right off. Unajua unaweza right off isi kusubue sana. Wakanza kunipigia simu. Kazi nikaanza kupewa. Tukaenda mpaka outside Kenya kufanya kazi. Tukaenda Rwanda, tukaenda Uganda, tukaenda Tanzania. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu niliongea na pesa yuko na masikio. Kama hamjui. 
Pesa iko na nini? Fanya hivi. Unanisikia? Pesa iko na? Eh na inasikia na ilinisikia. Mimi you can't convince me otherwise because ilinisikia. Hebu nikuulize. Does weed here? Mliona ikiongeleshwa na Yesu na ikatii. What about the storm in the ocean? What about the tree that had no no fruit? Yesu aliongelesha ikafanya nini? Na mbona unafikiria pesa haiwezi sikia? Inasikia? Iite, ita pesa yako. Wengine mumeomba ya kutosha. Sasa ni kuita. Ishaadiliziwa lakini kuna maprinces huko ya menye. Yanakatana. Ita pesa yako. Mambo yenye Mungu anatia ndani yetu kama wachungaji si yetu ni yenu. I was made to pass through that so that I can help somebody. Lakini yule atasaidika ni yule ataweze yule uke uka, uka open. Niambi ukweli. Nimehubiri mpaka na sweat, si ndio? Lakini kuna mtu hapa kile anaona ni gap tu ya meno yangu. Ni kweli? Sawa. Na hii si yako, hii ni yangu jameni. Kama kuna mwingine na muhusu si ni Monica. Sasa wewe tutumikie mu. Wacha maneno mimi. Tutoke kwa pesa. Lakini this girl my third born <coughs> kuna kitu aliniambia juzi tu hata yeye ananishauri yanga akaniambia you should not borrow money endlessly akaniambia you only borrow from three f's <laughs> i've just remembered because of this point nikamwambia explain the three f's she said from friends that's the first f from family and from fools <laughs> she was trying to dissuade me from going to the banks Now by the way don't start a business with a loan eh? except a loan from relatives from the three Fs <laughs> friends family and and the fools otherwise if you go to the loan enda enda kwa bank kuongeza biashara kupanua eh lakini sio kuanzisha sasa kwa sababu biashara yote iko na school fees unajua vile tunapeleka watoto college ama high school so you pay school fees every business you begin iko na nini tu pesa tu kwanza tunapotea angia huko kwa school fees by the time the money is over you are wise now i used to run a business in nyeri ilikuwa ya kuuza music i've been in music for most of my years so the first time i i came to nairobi to buy the music nilianguka kwa mikono ya mtu mbaya wale niliwasomea the bad guys the unjust guys yani kwa shop yake alikuwa wholesaler nilimwambia mimi ni mgeni akajua umekipata wewe <laughs> na by the way i have been referred by a common friend that's the worst thing i did just come to his shop a common friend of his and mine ndiye alikuwa amenifaa kwake alinitolea zote zenye zimekwama kwake all the music that he used zote mpaka nilikuwa naona akipanguza zingine na shido <laughs> onani how dear na uge <laughs> zote akaniwekea akanifugia kwa box nikaenda nazo ati ni kwa biashara naenda kuanza watu wanakuja wanaiangalia hivi tu <laughs> ni marafiki zangu tu na watu wa kanisa walikuwa wanajaribu kunipromote wananunua naweka kwa gari na wachezi <laughs> lakini pesa yangu yote ikafanya nini ikapotea lakini wacha niwaambie ni vizuri kuwa mtu wa imani kuna dada moja Mungu alizungumzia akaniletea 8000 it was around february akaniambia hii pesa Nimeona nimeomba nikasikia wewe ndiye utaniwekea. Nikipeleka kwa bank nitaiendea. Lakini usinipatie mpaka December. Kuna kitu nataka kufanya December. So this 8k. Na 8k siku hizo ilikuwa kama 800k today. Kaniambia hii unifanye nini? Haleluya. Mnaona mujiza? Nikamweke. Si nimelipa school fees. Sasa nikakuwa wise. Nilipokuja Nairobi kununua music safari ya pili. I knew what was selling and what cannot sell i knew all the gospel uh, musicians i don't want to call them artists wenye wanauza haleluya kufika nyeri ilikuwa kama hot cake zikaenda mpaka the following week niko nairobi kununua nyingine usi usiende kwa alice alice is a bunch ma, ma, bank manager ni wao msero yangu pitie kwangu kama unataka kitu kwake 
Usiende kwake kuanzisha biashara, mtakosana. Enda kupanua. Sasa? Ah. Si mseme amen. amen. Kuna mhubiri mmoja alituambia story ya ya mzee alikuwa mnakumbuka? Mzee alikuja kwa kanisa. Akaambiwa usiposema amen, takunulia kiatu. Na na, na the sun. So lakini point ikaendelea kuingia. Akikumbuka atanunua kiatu. And by the way I have an issue. <laughs> I was not born with the sisters. We were all brothers. Wengine mnawajua. So when I got married to Monica, one of the things I learned from Redes is like ukikuwa na sherehe kama udhoni, kama harusi, ununue ka kitu kamoja kampia. So hata nikiambiwa ni hubiri huwa nanunuanga ka kitu kamoja kam. <laughs> so mnaona I'm a good student. What did I want to say? Huh? Or three Fs. And Justin is here. Justin is a banker. Kwanza a CEO. Pitia kwa gubadu. Mimi niko na utajiri mwingi sana kwako. Kwa sababu ya hao watu. Na wengine wengine wako huku. Mwajui. Mimi nawajua. Lakini ukua mtu mzuri. He cannot recommend you if you don't attend a home sale. Because one of the things ways we shall know you ni kuyenda home sale. Or sale, not home sale. Sinio? Si hapo ndio tutakujua? Hapa tunaona tu mtu ana shine. Kuna siku moja kuna dada alipoteza kibeti huko church chini. Na haikuibiwa na watu wageni hivi walikuwa tu ndani ya cha. Ndani ya church. Thank you Josephine. Eh hey. Number two, death. Things that make people not to finish their assignments or their projects. Death. And I want to declare this on the pulpit, on the altar that you shall not die. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Fear you not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Amen. You shall not die. In fact, Paul says, Oh death, where is your sting? Because shetani angependa kukuogofia. Munajua hivu? Kipata ka ugojwa kadogo unafikiria ni corona. Ama ni... Muna nielewa? I'll give you a story. Sometimes back, some of you know that I've read Mwede. May God rest his soul in peace. Uh, he was our mentor. One morning at 6 a.m. in my house, before I had left the bed, actually, I was called by Mwogeke. Siku hizo za Mwogeke walikuwa juu sana. Wakaniambia ni meongea mambo mabaya kuwa husu na wanataka kichwa yangu. Kama siyo kichwa yangu, nitoe buzi. Ambayo si buzi kidogo, buzi nono. Ndiya wanisamehe. Na haku sema ni pesa ngapi. He, kwanza tulikuwa na mke wangu. Hakaanza kulia. <laughs> Sasa ukiona mke wako na unampeda kilia. Siyata wewe, hiyo kitu ikanigusa sana. Nikashido, tena wakasema hawata nipigia simu. Mimi ndiye sasa nimejua simu yao. Mimi ndiye nitawapigia. Nitawapigia. Niwaambie nitatoa buzi aje na lini. He. Nikashukua simu yangu. Nikapigia pasta. Nikamweleza yote aliyofanyika. Nilikuwa na hema hema. Sana sana sio kwa sababu ya agu lakini kwa mke wangu. I think she was thinking nikienda sasa atabaki na watoto na namna gani. <laughs> Atawasomesha aje. Ah. Pastor took it too casually. So casually. Akaniambia pastor, nini inakusumbua? Do this, call them. Alafu wakichukua simu, wambia wewe ulikufa kitabo. <laughs> wewe hawishi, ulikufa kitabo. <laughs> Wakitaka wakuje, wakuchukue, wewe usha kufa tayari. <laughs> Na hiyo ndio ni sort. Tell your neighbor, don't fear death. In actual fact, you died. You died. See you? You died with Christ. Number three, discouragement. This is in Guinea, Nikusoma, Tunitasoma. My time is up. Discouragement. Jeremiah 1.17. Discouragement. Na hii tunaona, andika pia, Psalms 42 verse 5 and verse 11. Then Psalms 43 verse 5. David is talking to his soul. My soul, why are you cast down? He was getting discouraged, but he would not pray to God again. He would talk to his 
Sometimes it calls for you to talk to your spirit. Mnasikia? Kwa sababu hatuko, hakuna pasta hapo. Hiyo kitu unapitia ni wewe tu. Talk to your spirit. Talk to your heart. By the way, your spirit obeys you and trusts you. Ukiambia mambo yatakuwa mazuri, yanakuwa nini? Yana kwanza roho yako inatulia. So talk to your spirit like David did. Do not be discouraged. Number four. It's called opposition. Opposition will prevent you from finishing your projects. And this one, I want to read Joshua chapter 1, verse 6, 7, and 9. It's the same thing. God spoke to Joshua three times. Nambianga watoto wangu, mkiona kitu na wambia maratatu. Mujue hiyo ni kitu muhi? Muhimu. Amen? Mimi ni wale wanakuambia kitu mara mingi mpaka wananiabia. Tulisikia. Na wambia, ukiona na wambia maratatu. Sasa ukiona mungu wanaongelesha Joshua. Be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. Yes. Because there shall be opposition. You will not finish your projects without opposition. Okay? Okay? Hallelujah. Usifikiri ukiwambewa, ukikuja hapa tukuwambewa ama ujiwambewa mambo ni sawa. Apana? Wakati mwingine anda ndiyo tunaita vita. Ukishombewa sasa vita ndiyo inakuja zaidi. There shall be opposition. But the Bible says us, because we are the Joshua of today, be strong and very courageous. Hallelujah. Number five. Muhimu sana. Inaitwa misplaced priorities. Misplaced priorities. Yani, unaanza project kwa sababu umesikia pastor theuri ya naifanya, na anaendelea vizuri sana. No. Do what? God calls you to do. Do something that you like. Because ni kwambia kile mungu wana kuitia. Unaweza kuwa haujui. Lakini kitu ina kupende. Something like that you can do without even being paid. That's your calling. Something ukisikia. Like when pastor called me and told me, you'll be preaching to us on Sunday. Nisikia nime jam. Vizuri, nasikia furaha. Lakini kuna jabu igine nigeabiwa. Nashusha. Sasa hiyo ya kuinishusha. Hiyo ni achane na. Lakini hile inafanya ni furahie. Iyo ndiyo? Hallelujah. Don't do something because somebody else is doing. Don't get married because it's Pastor Mwashi here. Nisi misangenye. Kwa sabu Pastor Mwashi ya nawa. Na wea sasa razima uwe. Amba uwelele. Apana. Koja wakatu wa mungu. Hizi doa hakuna pari zinaeda. Zita kuwako mpaka yesu haru. Haru di. Muna nisikia? By the way today kuna high tea. Pale, pale. Na ito ile complex. Na ni ya msichana tunafanya nae kwa hospital ministry. Tunayenaya kubiri, hospitali, wapi, hata huku. Na ito Bridget. Na ni kepeda mumu support jameni. Hata kama na hubiri. Wazazi, let's plan for our children. We want our children to have good weddings. Eh? Oh, msichana, stay kumusa. Is Bridget here? As in iskie. <laughs> she lost her father a few months ago. Si tukue wazazi. I want to challenge the ministry team to kue wa sasa dia baba. Lakini sijaogea na kiogozi wetu. Hallelujah. Hata hapa kuna desk. Ukipita hapa hata kama ni shilingi miyamoja ama 50. Ita, itasaidia committee. Sasa? 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 Yeah. Ah, jameni wacha. Nikifika mambo ya pesa na nimewambia tutatajirika. <laughs> Alafu muna nyamasa. <laughs> toa, toa. Jia ya kubarikiwa siyo ku... Usikuwe kama mtoto vile ya nakujanga, ukimpatia kitu hataki kufanya nini? Kulirizi. Kunjua ndiyo mungu waweke nini? Zaidi hata mchungaji wetu buwana. Ujapata na fasi mingi ya kumbariki. Nilini ulimbariki mara ya mwisho? Pua into him. Mstuwe na kaya SMS kengine kazu. Unakajua? Hata weo kikasikia unasikianga fura. Yoka SMS unakajua? E, mstuwe na hako. Kuna maitaji mimi nilifanya doa. Na nitajua doa yikuwa na mambo mingi sana. Na wewe ikifika wakati wa watoto wako, utaona ni nyue. Ato ikifika wakati wako kama hujafanya doa, utaenda? Nyue. Kwa sababu mambo enye, mambo enye ulipanda, ndiyo inakupigania, ndiyo inafanya nini? Hallelujah. But I was talking of misplaced priorities. Eh, number six. Na hii ni muhimu. <laughs> Inaitua relationships. Relationships can kill your project. Okay? And particularly, nisita ongea mengi kuhusu relation, lakini wacha ni ongea kuhusu unforgiveness. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, in your spirit, 
inakuhinda. Do you know it hinders you spiritually? Unajua mkikosana wakati mwingine huombangi ukasikia breakthrough. Sana sana ukikosana na watu close to you like your spouse, your children, your dad. Kuna wakati tulikosana na mamangu. <laughs> Ama hii mambo ya nyumbani. <laughs> tulikosana. I still know that I was right. But you are not seeing things the same way. So tukakosana for about 3 months you are not in peace. Tunaongea tu lakini sio ile ya kumisana. I tell you I did all within my means. Kujaribu ku get back. Of course without compromising my my start because I knew I was on the side of God. Lakini nilimuini mwisho akarudi upande wangu. But I'm trying to tell you this. If you know it hinders your spiritual progress, it also hinders your physical progress, your financial progress, your family progress. Naelewa? Usibebe and forgiveness. I told you another day, or you have had it before. It is like taking rat poison and expecting the rat to die. That's what unforgiveness is. Nisame tena. It's like taking rat poison and expecting the, the rat to die. Because if I've messed you and you have not forgiven me, I don't even know. Nani ya naumia? Sini wewe? Jame ni samehe. Samehe. Lakini ukisamehe usirudishe panye. Kama relationship yetu na wewe ilikuwa harafu tukakosana. Hata ukinisamehe, take time to get it back to where it was. Mnaelewa? I'm not telling you to do like Jomo Kenyatta. He said that we tutawasamehea wa koroni lakini hatutasahau. <laughs> Then Jomo Kenyatta. Mimi sikwambii hivyo. Lakini nakwambia if you are too close to somebody, harafu kwa kutokea kitu imekuumiza sana. Samehea lakini ujishu Duka shokie kara hara ya kidete ya? Karu meiru wane guo? Usirudisha kidole wapi? Penye hili umwa. Na hii ya forgiveness ni ngumu kushida hata ya pesa. <laughs> Pasta watu wa waski. Wani kuna nini? <laughs> Muna juwe tukiangalia hapa tunawana kama unasikia point. Mina taka usamehe. Samehe. Samehe hata wale wali ukufa. Wasamehe. Sasa walienda na bado unasema babangu haku nisonesha. Penye aliku, hata kama ni kukuza. Alikuza. And by the way, your father is very important. Don't talk ill of your father. Okay? Okay? It's very important. Kuna mtu anaitwa Esau. Alienda kwa baba akakuta amepeana all the blessings. Akamuuliza, babangu, hauna hata kabaraka hata kamoja umebakisha. Kuna vile aliambiwa, sitaki kuenda pande hiyo. Kuna mambo ambayo babako anaweza sema ni yeye tu anaweza bariki. So, msamehe na uhusiano wako uru? urudi. Sasa hata kama alikukosea, hajaokoka na hajaenda na counter. Na wewe umeenda mpaka school of leaders. Sasa Sawa sawa? Na baba ya watoto wako pia nao ni muhimu sana. Hata kama mlikosana. Nakumbuka vile nikwambia story ya kwanza pale. Si wale watoto walikuwa wamekosana na baba, si ni mama. Hapa najua na, napitia pahali pangumu pia. Lakini please don't don't prevent your children from knowing their father. Kuna kitu ndani ya, ya mtoto wa wote anasikia ana miss baba. Muachilie tu hata kama utaki kumpeleka muambie basi baba yako ako Muranga pahali kunaitwa Gatuli kwa shopping center ako hapo. Muambie tu aende. Sasa akiena akutana na baba yake kuna kitu yake itafunguka na mambo maisha yake itakuwa sasa kwenye ilikuwa imefungwa itafanya nini lakini kama hakuulizi acha lakini akikuuliza usianze kumira guye tikana nayo wacha ukalilika na wewe mwono kuwe linakuwa rota ni karake hepa eh kilikukosea lakini hakikukosea watoto sijui Aki kukukosea, alikukosea, siyo kilikukosea. <laughs> Oi, gaifaba. Hii, poleni sana, nisameheni, tafazadi, nisameheni. Lakini nitamaliza na hii. Before Obama became Potas, do you know Potas? President of the United States of America. The most powerful man in the world. You know what happened? He first sought his others. And the father had left the family when Obama was how many years? 
two years. They ha- he had left. They had not even divorced. He just came. He was somehow responsible. Send you Moses. Moses knows Kogelo. Kwa hivyo kama unaosikia na 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 kosea uliza Moses. Lakini ilibidi akuje atafute fathers wake. Si akona ndugu zake. Alikuwa amekuja huko amekunywa sana amekufa in a road accident. He was a senior guy in Kenyatta's government. Jomo Kenyatta's government. So Obama came, looked for his people, the father's people, made peace with them, wakapigwa mapisha wakatembea huku kilikuwa kijana kijana. But after that, after going back to America, the first thing that happened, he got the blessings of the fathers. Alifanyika senator wa Illinois. Chicago, he comes from Chicago. Chicago is in Illinois. Okay? After serving for I don't know two terms, then he became the porters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kaidle, kaidle. Don't prevent children from visiting. Na nyinyi wazee, unajua ni sisi tunafanya mambo mengine yatufanyikie. Ukitesa mama wakati watoto wana grow, when the marriage is young, utakuja kuteswa. Wewe, mzee wewe. Kuna wakati mpira unapi. Have you watched football? Ikifika half time what happens? Pastor ndio goda kulekia leo. Acha nimalizie pale. Mwenye masikio amefanya nini? Wazee. Mwenye masikio amefanya nini? Wakati mpira uko upande wako cheza vizuri. Wakati watoto watakuwa wakubwa, wakati mwingine unachezaga upande mwingine na mama. Na kuna mambo unaweza vuna. Yenye ulipada we mwenyewe. Kwenye tumaini. I feel like praying for you. Just lift up your heart. If if you feel there is something you want us, we want prayer. Kama message kuna pahali imekugusa. Usiogope, usiogope, inua tu mkono. Mkono wa kulia unakuanga mzuri. Mkono wa kulia unakuanga mzuri kushida wa kushoto. Father, I thank you. Thank you Lord for your people. I've put I've given them your word as you put it in my heart. I pray Lord if there's anything I've said against your will. Lord, we put it down. But everything that I've said Lord that is from heaven. I pray that it shall not be forgotten, but it shall live to help them and their children and their children's children that we shall be better this year and our future shall have a, have a change in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We rebuke every spirit that wants to pull us down. We declare, oh God, that is going to be well with us. Yes, Lord, money shall come our way. Good health shall come our way. Peace and joy shall come our way. Lord, by the end of this year, we shall be better off than we are because you live. Because you live, we can face tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You, as she comes, you have all passed, but with A minus. You want to make it A? Go and do. Because application, all the difference, all the time. <laughs>